Change is inevitable, and we would certainly not expect the high schoolers of today to have the same experiences as the high schoolers in 1912 did when the school was first constructed. That said, we can find many similarities. Sports, dances, theater, music, FFA, and theme days are just some of the traditions our 1912 students had that the current Moscow High students keep alive today. Take, for example, our beautifully restored auditorium. Now, take a look at this orchestra club photo taken in 1930. Does the room look familiar? It's the original auditorium in use nearly 100 years ago. We now hold concerts, recitals, and plays in this space. Sports remain much the same. Boys played basketball, football, and track. There was even a girls basketball team in 1913. These students would have practiced in the gymnasium, which has since been converted to the great room you see today. Glee Club, or choir, is still around, as is orchestra, although the sewing club is sadly defunct. We no longer have a Latin club, Kwame's Tristes Este, and we no longer have sleigh rides like they did in 1915, where, quote, the boys treated the girls of their class to a delightful sleigh ride to Pullman. After a delicious luncheon served at Dutton's Confectionery, they left for home, giving vent to their happy feelings by many lusty cheers for MHS, end quote. The one thing that has remained steadfast is the spirit of the Moscow Bears and our community's commitment to education for all. I'll leave you with a joke written by the school's editorial board in 1915. When my uncle died, he left all he had to an orphan asylum. What did he leave? 15 children! Thanks for listening. Remember to subscribe and click on the links for more details. Bye-bye!